Hi, I'm Ira Spanierman. I want to welcome you to Spanierman Gallery at 45 East 58th Street. We've been here about 16 years. Before this, we were at uh, 78th Street for 28 years, and we were elsewhere before that. So we've been around a long time, and we've been serving the art community for probably more than 50, more than half a century. So let's walk through this exhibition. I want to tell you about it. It's called Summer Selections. It's only on until September 26th. And the prices range from $4,000 to $25,000. Uh, most of the paintings are painted in the first half of the 20th century. And what I like to call re-emerging artists, by, because they were very well known in their time, and as time passes, of course, people get forgotten. And a lot of these artists had great careers, and were very well known, and now they're not so well known as they used to be. Uh, that's what happens to friends, people, artists, that's life. Um, so let's walk through the exhibition quickly and I want to point out a couple of paintings that I would like to talk to you about just to show you the way I look at them or the way I see them, okay? So I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see my notes and here you should focus a little bit on the walls. Uh, we have landscape paintings, winter scenes, figurative paintings, still lives, uh, a bit of everything really. And besides these uh, paintings of the early part of the 20th century, we have some 19th century paintings and we also have some contemporary paintings. So if you follow me, I will take you to the paintings I would like to talk about. And uh, right here is one by Adam Lair, which I'll point to. And you can do a close-up of that. Go in closer. Got it. Okay. Now, this is a painting of Niagara. Every artist painted Niagara. It was called the sublimest of sublimities. It was the sense of power and uh, uh, magnificence of America. Church painted it in 1857 as the most famous painting of the falls, but every artist tried it. It was sort of a challenge for artists, sort of a challenge for artists to do Niagara. Uh, and he's captured it very well. This was painted in 1880, on July 13th. It's so dated right here. And what he did was with very uh, minimal brush strokes and very minimal uh, uh, splays of white paint, he created the sense of power of water splashing all over, of cascading falls, of, 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 and he did it very, very well and very, very quickly. This is an artist who studied with William Merritt Chase. He was uh, born in Cleveland and he painted in Cleveland and he painted still lives and he painted landscapes. And he's very well known in his own area. So, um, but let me stop here because I want to talk about another painting besides, besides oh, the lair is $15,000. The price is $15,000. And after the lair, I want to talk about another painting. And uh, so we'll do that in a second. And here's a wonderfully s small, sketchy painting by Howard Russell Butler, uh, who was a... Um, <clears throat> president of the National Academy of Design from 1916 to 1921 and a, a great friend of Andrew Carnegie. And he visited California twice, once in 1905 through 1907 and the second time from 1921 to 1926. And he had a great interest in atmospheric light, studying its impact in nature. He loved the luminosity of moonlight. Uh, in this particular painting, he illuminates these uh, adobe structures with California moonlight, and of course there's a sense of Mexico here too, I think. Uh, and there's a, a, a stream that goes through an aqueduct, and this is an alarming sense of mystery. I mean, if you w went to a movie, and this was the first image that were flashed on the screen, you'd be thinking, what is behind those, what does this mean? What is in those buildings? It would evoke a great sense of curiosity. Uh, is it a romantic situation? Or is it a spooky situation? What are we going to look at here? And, and uh, 
But anyhow, here it is, and it's by Howard Russell Butler. And for this picture, we asked, for this painting, we asked $6,500. So I uh, hope you had a nice visit with us. Thank you.